Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you guys won't believe what I just did. So if you notice, I got line in my hand. You can see that line dangling. I just took the cutters and cut out, was cutting out this uh, wind knot and I was actually just hand lining this, pulling it in. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, I hope nothing hits this line on my way bringing it in because I don't want to get a braid cut. So I was making sure that when I rolled it in, it was, it was laying into my hand nice and uh, thick like this. And I tell you guys, I got about six feet away from me and all of a sudden this big girl came up and just slurped down that slam shady on the trout eye. So uh, I am keeping flounder. This is gonna be uh, one for the box. So I'll go throw her back in the boat, bring you guys up to date on what I'm doing. And awesome, man, what a cool fish. <laughs> All right, well, how's that for an intro, you guys? Hand lining flounder. Now, that girl did measure out to 16 and a half inches. She will definitely be going home. And I tell you, that's a, that's a good start to my day. So what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Low Country Fishing. If you're new here, my name is Dan. Welcome to my YouTube channel, you guys. And what I'm gonna do today is I wanna do a little bit of inshore fishing. Now, this morning, I set out with a goal to go offshore. I brought all of my big offshore gear with me. It was supposed to be about two feet at nine second intervals with a uh, fairly steady west wind at about eight or nine. And I tell you guys, I got about five or six miles offshore. I noticed that the conditions were not looking great. So I turned the sea hunt around and I brought her back inshore. So what I'm gonna do now, you guys, is I'm gonna kind of bounce around and see if I can find some more flounder. I am fishing on a low income and tide right now. I was just kind of walking a sandbar out here in this general area where I'm at in the sound when I did <laughs> hand line in that flounder. So I'm gonna kind of keep to the same type of mentality. I don't think I'll be able to walk too much more because the tide is coming up and these sandbars are getting covered with water. So I'm gonna to have to switch over to fishing back on the boat. But if I can continue to catch a couple more flounder, that, uh, that will definitely make me excited. So let's throw some more plastics around and see if we can get some more fish. Got him. All right, so let's mix it up a little bit and let's throw some live bait. I was able to throw that cast net a few times and get about a dozen of these finger sized mullet. And now I'm just gonna hang them under a cork around some oysters and grasses and see if I can catch some more fish. Oh, that was quick. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that core barely hit the water and it went down immediately. Oh, be a big red. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a big red. Woo, let's go, yeah. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Oh man, that's a big one. I've got a bunch of oysters over here. Oh man, I think I hit her in the head. <laughs> this is the fish I needed. Oh, hi big girl, jeez. What? A beautiful fish. Oh man. Oh, I lost her. I was about to say, I don't even have my net ready. Ugh. <laughs> it just got me wrapped around the antenna. Oh man, what a bummer. I didn't get a chance to pull that fish up and hold it, but that was, that was a big redfish, you guys. That was probably 27, 28. Very, very big redfish. Caught her on the grass clump right back there behind me. Ugh, two watt circle hook on a fish that big is uh is just a recipe for that for getting the hook spit so i'm not terribly disappointed i wish i could have got the opportunity to show you guys the fish but either way 
That was a nice fish. I'm gonna get another mullet on, get back out and see if I can find another one. So let's go ahead and put a fresh piece of everything on here. So I'll freshen up my leader. I'll just do a simple clinch knot underneath that four horseman cork just like that. Trim that end. So that's about an 18 inch piece of 20 pound monofilament. I got a loop knot connecting an upsized three aught circle hook. And that is a uh, 3 16 ounce pinch on weight right there. And now the toughest part of the day is getting one of these little buggers in the net. They are so fast and so lively, but that's exactly what we want. We want a, we want a super lively bait. And there we go. I'll just take that little mullet, take my three out hook, just come underneath the jaw up towards the front. I try not to go between the eyes too much because I don't want to kill it. Make sure it is bouncing around. That means it's alive. All right, let's try that again. Man, I uh, I swear guys, I, I hit that redfish right in the head. It, it not, as soon as it landed, she grabbed it and I immediately thought I got sharked. But no, I, oh my down, I'm down again. There's another big one. Oh, another big red. We must have a school of them right here. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh man, I got my, I got my redemption fish at least. <laughs> I just got to get her away from those shells. Ugh, easy, 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 easy. She's sitting right on top of shells here. Come on up. Oh, that's a nice one too. That's another good one. Come on over here, girl. You are a little bit smaller. Oh, easy. Just a little bit out of the slot here. <laughs> All right. All right, don't break me off. Don't break me off. Easy, girl. Easy, girl. Easy, girl. That ain't the best hook set. I got my net handy here. Let's go ahead. Get her in the net. Got her. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. Look at that pretty fish. I'm gonna leave her in the net. These are these are big fish here, guys. 27 inch redfish. Go ahead and get that hook out real fast. All right, well, here she is. Big old beautiful girl. Gorgeous, gorgeous redfish. We're gonna go ahead and set her back in the water. I don't wanna keep her out too long. Dissolved oxygen level is low. And there she goes. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh man, redemption is mine. That makes me very happy to be able to go back to back on big redfish in the same spot with live bait. Uh, I wasn't really heartbroken on the first one, but I was a little disappointed that she did come off, but uh, after upsizing to that 3.0 hook, as well as freshening up my leader, it paid off. And that's something you guys need to think about too. If you start losing fish due to technical er errors or, tact or uh, tackle issues, just take a second and retie everything. I've said that before in a video in the past. Take a second, retie the leader, put new hooks on, sharpen those hooks, put Procure back on your bait, maybe grab a, a fresh, livelier bait out of the live well box, or out of the live well tank, and then get back out there and uh, maybe you'll have some same success that I just had there. So let's get back out there. Let's see if we can get another redfish. There we go. Get back in there. Come on, girls, did y'all move on me? Oh, got him. Woo, that's a trout. <laughs> <laughs> easy easy there we go that'll probably be 13 inches she's got some weight on her Let's see what kind of weight we got oh 
She's gone. <laughs> All right, well, not a bad spot, man. Two big oversized redfish and one short trout all in about a 20 by 20 area. And I tell you guys, it's, it just goes to show that 90% of the fish are in 10% of the waters. That's why you can't go out there and you just can't fish in the middle of the river and expect to catch fish like this. You have to be in areas where fish are, bait current structure, nearby depth change. So it's good to see these fish are still hanging around these types of areas during the summertime. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm just gonna keep working this bank, as you see right here over the corner of my shoulder. I'm gonna just work down the edges anywhere where I have a point, anywhere where I see some bait getting accumulated, anything that kind of looks good, I'm gonna slow down and I'm gonna fish it. Now I only have four of those little finger mullet left and my trolling motor batteries are slowing down drastically. So once I run out of bait or run out of trolling motor power, I'm probably gonna hang it up and call it a day. But I do plan on coming back out here tomorrow. I would like to pick back up with fishing on foot, kind of how I started this morning before I ran out of time and see if I can uh, catch some flounder that way. But I'm not giving up on today yet. We still got a little bit more fishing to go. Got a little grass clump right here in front of me. Let's throw on the backside and see, see if anybody's home. I just saw the bait scatter over there. I got the wind in my back, so it should throw easier. There we go. Oh, got him. Oh, that's another big red. That's another big red. Oh, gotcha, baby. Yeah, baby. That's another good one. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on, stay pinned. You might, uh, you might make the slot, buddy. Come on up. I'm walking to the front of the boat. Or I got my net. Come on, buddy. Got her. <laughs> Redfish number three. Oh, look how pretty. Wow, man, what a golden, golden fish. So funny they call them redfish. He's I guess gold is in the red family. I don't know, my wife's an art teacher. I'll have to ask her that. <laughs> Easy. She's like, oh man, he's keeping fish. He's keeping fish. There we go. Beautiful red fish right there. I'm gonna guess, I'll keep her hooked. I'm gonna guess right at 19 or 20. Slide her on up, pinched out. Yeah, 21. Perfect. Perfect fish right here. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Boom. There we go. One more look at her. Look how pretty. Gorgeous. Lots of gold on her. A little bit of silver on that belly. Just the tiniest bit of blue on that tail still, if you can see it. One spot gorgeous fish so I am going to keep her this will be redfish on the half shell for my wife and I tonight for dinner this is the perfect size to do it nice and thick got some good meat on her thank you Lord for that fish all right guys and with that last redfish that is going to be it for today the wind is starting to pick up just like I projected and the trolling motor battery is dead <laughs> i've run it to where the uh, head barely swivels on it right now unfortunately i forgot to plug it in last night so that's my own fault but you know what i had a good time out here about four and a half hours of fishing and i was able to catch some good quality fish a flounder hand line first thing this morning big red fish lost her uh, at the boat got another one boated got another 20 inch fish in the cooler so uh it's a good day man redfish on the half shell at my house as well as hold fried flounder is on tonight's menu so thank you guys so much for support i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget if you haven't got a chance to subscribe to low country fishing guys go ahead and click that red button down on the bottom part of your screen and we'll see you next week take care everyone god bless